Welcome to all. Dear listener, Kingdom of God is a very important topic. So we would like to invite you to join our devotion this year. The concept of the Kingdom of God is repeated throughout the Bible. This devotion was written by Dr. Peter Kamleshwar Prasad Singh. We would be honored if this message was a blessing for you. Meditation on the Kingdom of God, Day 223 Now, while they were staying in Galilee, Jesus said to them, The Son of Man is about to be betrayed into the hands of men, and they will kill him, and on the third day he will be raised up. And they were exceedingly sorrowful. Matthew 17, verse 22 and 23. Jesus knew everything, absolutely everything, every event that was going to happen in the future, and everything that was going to happen before his own eyes. He was able to see the future now. He desired to let the disciples know it beforehand and be mentally prepared for it. He tried to make it clear that his death was inevitable as the victory over sin and death was dependent on it. Also, he was going to be raised up on the third day. The grave could not keep him because the resurrection was attached to his death. He told the disciples both the facts, but they could not grasp the resurrection as they were overwhelmed by the sorrow of death, taking half the truth and they ignored the other half, which was a triumph, which caused them suffering in their spirit. The disciples, in a way, were missing Jesus' divine nature altogether. He was not only immortal, but eternal. His recent transfiguration and the conversation with Moses and Elijah was manifestation of Jesus' divine origin. He knew John the Baptist was Elijah, and he knew in detail he was going to suffer the way John had to. He always tried to make the disciples understand the purpose of God and prepare themselves for their own role in the future. They never understood it before Pentecost. Peter's response at different occasion was most funny. At one moment, he confessed Jesus as the Christ, and soon after that, started to rebuke Jesus about going to Jerusalem and to die. Jesus was living in power of the Holy Spirit, but the disciples were not yet. They had to wait for Jesus' death, resurrection, and ascension, as well as Pentecost to be filled with the Holy Spirit and start with new heart and renewed minds. To understand Jesus and his teachings. To be continued. Thank you for listening to this devotion. Let's meditate and apply it in your life according to your conviction. Please give any suggestion and comment on this. God bless you. Have a good day.